first time we will call out AMD or radio and dual graphics on those platforms that have that capability. And as graphics becomes more important, and as the ability to uh, have accelerated platforms really defines the experience of the users, we're really excited to really stand out and say, when AMD and AMD work together, you get the best visual experience. Now, it's not just enough that we said we need to work with our partners. And we're really excited that we have, every year, focused a considerable amount of our effort and our money with our partners to really uh, capture for consumers and for users the exciting opportunities that make up. So you should expect to see in the second half of the year, we will launch significant campaigns aimed at increasing both the awareness of vision that at point of sale would be considered and that there's preference uh, within users. But enough of us. Let's spend a few minutes with some of our partners and really talk about how they use our products, how they build solutions that enable uh, our joint customers to get the best experience. So, it's my pleasure to introduce a number of partners. We'll do them one by one. Right? Many of them have brought things to show us. So let me start by introducing Lawrence Lin, the Chief of Marketing for Acer Taiwan. Lawrence, come and join us on stage. Good morning, thanks very much for joining us. So, so this year you launched uh, a great um, new Acer One, the 10.1 inch, the 522, and the Icona tablet. We're probably going to talk about that in a minute. But let me start with your, with your Acer One. Um, how have Fusion APUs helped you deliver a better experience to your customers? Okay. Uh, I appreciate that the AMD uh, APU supporting the Acer and the uh, Especially, it's very important that it's not only in the long battery life, but also in the, our uh, superior uh, graphic performance. So, uh, we thank you very much for the AMD. So you have with you uh, an Icona W500? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe the second time that's been seen today. Yeah. Tell us a bit about this. Okay. This is uh, as the new launch, the, the window-based uh, tablet we call the uh, W500. Uh, it's a separate uh, with the keyboard. So uh, when you go out, you take out, you can use the, for the tablet to surf in the internet. And when you come back from home, you can insert the keyboard uh, for the uh, document processing. Uh, it's built in the uh, uh, AMD uh, browsers, uh, uh, CFP is uh, also really good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Thank Lawrence. you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Lawrence Lee. Okay, next up is my pleasure to introduce uh, S.Y. Jian, the General Manager of the ASA Notebook, the ASUS Notebook Division. S.Y., welcome. Listen, thank you very much. You guys launched a couple of great EEPCs this yes. year, both a, yes. a 10 and a 12 inch. Yes. Um, talk a bit about how the Fusion products have really helped with those, make those products so good. Okay. Uh, I think Ashes always want to provide the uh, best quality and also best user experience product to the customer. And actually, uh, even in the, this kind of uh, entry level Maybook product, uh, we also try to provide the uh, HD content play playback and also low battery life and the DX11, this kind of very good feature to our customer. And I think uh, uh, MD's APU uh, uh, give us a very good foundation to implement this. And uh, actually, we got a very good feedback from the market. Now, the, the smart people in the room know you're not holding yes. any EVs. <laughs> That is, in fact, a brand new N series, yes. which will be launched soon. Tell people a bit about this incredible new machine. Uh, actually, I think that the N series in the ASUS is our high model. We are quite focused on the multimedia application. And we are using the MD based APU to provide a very good graphic and gaming experience. And also, we co work with the band officer uh, to provide very good audio uh, to let our customer both the audio and the video part. So and I suspect that's the first time anyone's seen a real Lano machine. So thank you very much, Esri. Thank you. Okay, uh, next up, it's my pleasure to introduce Raymond Wild, the Vice President of Consumer Local Marketing for HP. 
So uh, I recognise that that's an award-winning notebook. And if that's a, a good example of, uh, of a, you know, a fusion part in operation, it would be, uh, would be the DM1. Talk a bit about how well that's been received and what makes it so special. So thank you, Nigel, for letting me share more about uh, HB Star Powder. AMD's Fusion AP has enabled HP to deliver more muscle than a netbook, yet more mobile than a notebook. This truly perfected our pioneering effort with AMD, started with the Pavilion DV2. This could handle both local and streaming 1080p playback, even if it's output to a 42-inch HDTV with no power, no problem at all. For graphics-intensive games, it could clock up to 28 frames per second. This is the kind of horsepower you get with Fusion AP. So um, you have some new exciting notebooks to come as well. So yes. a quick change of uh, yeah, quick change of. Uh, t tell us what you brought up here. So this is uh, HP's uh, new Pavilion DV series. We just launched it. Uh, it comes in both HP imprint and HP brush aluminium. Uh, very, very beautiful product. The coolest feature is HP's CoolSense technology. It's able to detect whether you're using it on your lap or on the table. And the technology will enable an optimal power, performance, and skin temperature to suit your usage behavior. Now cover two more features on the Metal series. It also has what we call the HP Simple Pass, which enable you to just with a swipe of a finger, do not have to remember passwords anymore. Of course, it also comes with the award-winning Beats Audio, coupled with quad speakers to deliver stunning audio performance. All these possible with the AMD's Lano class I of was, Fusion APs. I was about to say the same thing. Thank you very much, Ray. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a Okay, next up, uh, Luis Hernandez, the general manager of Lenovo's ThinkPad and Edge Group. Luis. Good thing, my friend. So, over the time, you know, we've, uh, we've often talked about, you know, the consumer notebooks, but Clearly, there's a place in the commercial market for fusion processors as well. Talk to me a bit about the, how the market received the 120, the X120, which I know was the first product we yes, saw so, in the market. Yeah, so the commercial business, commercial user, they want a computer, a notebook that's able to obviously have good battery life, but also be able to run their Microsoft Office applications really well, quick. But in addition, in the small business, they use it for personal life. And you need that graphics performance, that HD content that comes from the internet, that graphics performance that allows you to have a much richer experience. And that's what Fusion Technology gives you, is the ability to be able to have very quick response on your applications <coughs> for business, but at the same time be able to in enjoy that rich media that you get through the internet and through your other games and so forth. And it's a great experience. And you bought actually the next generation, haven't you? This is the... Actually, actually this is the ThinkPad Edge E125, which is very similar to the X120E. This is specifically for small business instead of enterprise. And this one is very light. It has a great 11.6 display. And uh, it has also all the performance and great value that you get with Fusion. It can run Windows 7 Professional and has a full-size keyboard. So you get the best of, of an ultra portable at a very good price. Of course, we're also working on the 13-inch that will be announced at the same time as this one, early July, and uh, 14 and 15, they're coming on very soon. Thank you, well, thank you for that okay. sneak preview. Thanks, for it. Okay, uh, next up with another surprise viewing, uh, Mr. Henry Liu, the Senior Vice President of uh, MSI. Henry, welcome to the stage. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about what you have here. Uh, this is a new tablet from MSI. It's a IPU, uh, CPU inside. 
It looks very good. It's, uh, I know people have been looking at it. Could it be better? Yeah, it looks great. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Okay, so we've looked at a number of incredible uh, platforms, uh, and some of which are yet to be announced, yet to be released, both uh, for our browsers and our, and our Lano products. Before we ended, I wanted to talk to one other partner, because clearly uh, you've got to have the hardware, but the hardware does nothing without software. So, with that, it's my pleasure to introduce Thomas Lee, the Senior Director from the OEM Division of Microsoft. Join us, Thomas. Hi. Thank morning, you. Niger. Good morning. So, um, lots of exciting hardware, but acceleration doesn't only happen in the hardware, does it? It happens in the software. Sure. Particularly in things like IE9. Talk a bit about where Microsoft is with IE9. Okay. And first of all, I'd like to congratulate that and AMD keep coming up very good product Thank in you. the last few years. And I'm also very happy to see and all my partners using and the CPU and also Microsoft Windows. <laughs> and, but for the i9, it is the newest and the base and also the fittest and the browser in the world. And actually, when Microsoft designed i9, we believe that we have to uh, take the power of the APU and uh, to really do the hardware acceleration because we believe we want to bring the best uh, web experience to lots of consumers. So actually, from IE9, we can see the high-definition video is very smooth, the graphic is very clear, and it is true color, and you can see a lot of interactive web experience from HTML5. They are all come from the APU uh, Direct uh, X11 D4 support. So what do you think the next generation of the web looks like? You, you mastered IE9, what do you think is next? I believe that in the future we are going to see a lot of interactive web and also 3D and uh, web, uh, web experience coming up. I believe everything is all related to the high performance APU and uh, I also believe that in the future we are going to see the long battery power is very important because it is always connected devices and so I believe the APU design for the long battery life is very important for the future web experience. Yeah and I use uh, i9 and PowerPoint and all those products every day and I think what many people don't know is they come accelerated. So you don't have to turn on the acceleration. That's Microsoft's right, yeah. already worked out how to do that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please come to the So you can see from that that uh, whether it's our hardware partners or our software partners, we are absolutely dedicated and focused on not only delivering the best hardware experience, but the best total experience. And, I, and I'm really serious. If you've uh, got a, a, an APU and you have, you have a, a, a copy of Office 11, you should try PowerPoint with the acceleration turned on and off. And you'll see what an incredible difference uh, a visual experience delivered by an APU would deliver. So let me try and summarize what we've talked about this morning. You know, uh, for 10 years or more, we will be talking about the CPU and the GPU and how to balance that experience. For the first time ever, at the state of art, AMD is really delivering that combination of the left-hand side of your brain and the right-hand side of your brain, working together in your PC to give you the best experience. We're delivering DX11 across all our platforms with multiple APUs for multiple different price points. As Rick and Chris showed you, we have industry-leading battery life, really delivering um, the battery life you would need for an all-day uh, experience. And we continue to integrate and deliver the world's best graphics into our platforms. We think this is a really exciting moment for all of us, not only because of tablets, but not only because of the APU, but for the first time, more users are looking at the visual experience, at the experience they get on their PCs and asking, how do I get that best experience? We believe the APUs we've announced, and the APUs we will continue to announce, really will give the consumers that best combined processing of CPU and GPU. 
With that, I would like to thank you all for joining us this morning. We're very grateful for the time. We're very uh, happy to see you. And I would like to enjoy, invite my colleagues and our partners back onto the stage.